Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is actually based on the questions by a lot of students, you know, if they are, uh, they should be taking electronics and communication engineering, right? So this video I'm making to help them understand what is this course and what is the scope in terms of jobs and what are the type of uh, salaries they can expect by studying, you know, electronics and communication engineering. So on a very high level, you know, EAC is a very good option for students and it is as good as computer science in most of the uh, places, right? And um, it has opportunities in all the areas. So some of the very popular areas are like VLSI, right? Very large scale integrated, which is the chip design, robotics, and then, you know, control systems in signal processing, which is very common area, embedded system, lot of jobs, and then telecommunication industry. Uh, is also where one, you will see a lot of jobs defense and aerospace equipments is where electronics plays a big role and then electronic circuit design is very common and the very old traditional way of uh, uh, electronic scope is like at analytics and digital electronics so analog and digital electronics is there in for long time so out of this some areas uh, have developed very well and they have a very uh, you know, good regular jobs right so these are the common job opportunity areas and now these are the areas which have shown the recent trend so based on the recent trend or the current trend these are the new areas where things are moving so embedded system and vlsi together so that is the skill we should develop it machine learning though you are in electronics and communication engineering it is talking with machine language and that's why machine learning is important in ece electronics and communication engineering then data structure is another area and artificial intelligence iot is also one of the most you know predominant area where it is showing a very good job trend for electronics and communication engineers so in ai in iot applications so those are the common areas and there is a new branch of electronics in fact getting introduced in all colleges in karnataka and as well as in india that branch is called electronics and communication engineering in bracket vlsi design technology branch right so this is a very good branch and you should take this branch along with ece right so this branch will teach you about designing aspects of a, a chip your verification engineer profiles your cat design profiles your research and r d engineer you can get using getting with this degree right btech in vlsi design which is part of ECE specialization course, right? So apart from traditional ECE course, you should also take EAC in VLSI design and technology, which will come in all the colleges of Karnataka. And uh, uh, you see the type of scope you are having, you can get job in government sector companies, right? So these are just few examples, you know, your uh, Delhi Metro or DRDO or ISRO and then other host of, you know, even companies like ONGC, IOC, Indian Army, right? And Indian Railways, you can easily get job in public sector, which is the government organizations. And not only th that, you can get a very good job in private sector organizations. So in private sector, there are two type of organizations you should look one is the services industry like which is mostly in the IT services area right you see companies like Accenture Cognizant Infosys Wipro HCL so these are all mass recruiters in most of the colleges right and they recruit students from computer science engineering as well as ECE equally right and they are open to all the branches so in that case you will get up and second is the special companies which are product driven companies right where like something like lg uh, lg electronics nvidia siemens and then there are a lot number of product companies uh, you know like cisco all those companies will take a good number of students from product uh, uh, development background for electronics and communication engineering right and then they will develop your skills very good in ece part and they also offer a very good high packages right in terms of salary so that should be your target now in terms of understanding what type of profile will give you what type of salaries minimum salary of a ec engineer will start with like something like a fresher will be 3.5 lakh rupees per annum and it can go up to 15 lakh rupees per annum right again it depends on the type of role you are going to play right so if you i start like you know like a salary of a startup is like a network engineer is the most basic role you can get right and um, if you do that it will be like minimum 3.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs you will get as an ec engineer right for networks and you will call like a network engineer then there is an embedded system business engineer or embedded software engineer which will be minimum 4.5 lakhs to 6 to 6.5 7 lakhs you can easily expect as a fresher 
and then there will be profiles like electronics engineer and uh, those type of profile will minimum start from 5.29 lakh rupees and it can go up to 8 to 10 lakhs right easily and that is very common profile and electronics engineering and communication engineers on in the government firms like i mentioned drdo isro and bhl they are the average salaries have now increased up to 10 to 12 lakhs right so minimum 1 lakh rupees per month you can get in this government companies as well right and when you talk about the product companies which i mentioned lot of them are they are like cypress semiconductor akamai Jupiner, juniper networks qualcomm microsoft broadcom and many large number of companies are there there you can get salaries of more than 10 lakhs also between 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs so those are the companies you should target and so you can see that there is a good number of you know, opportunities in electronics and you should definitely take it thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates on all brands